what's up everyone my name is It's and today I am going to tell you how to make a generator and a fuel canister in Unity 3D now um, the plan is basically just a generator which is uh, can be switched off and on anytime you want um, and also with a filling system and also there's a simple inventory system where you will keep track on how many fuel you, you have basically all right, now here I have an empty scene. I'm going to save this scene uh, as um, generator and fuel can. I know it's not appropriate to capitalize everything. I just know I just like things to be neat. All right, now game object, 3D object, cube, and then just basically um, delete my main camera. And then I'm going to do that and just make a simple plane. And then I need basically just a first person character. The one who will turn off or on the generator. Also, I'm going to play with direction light so I can see the plane thingy. All right. Um, Alright, this is good enough. Um, you can walk. As you can see, you can walk. Alright, now. I'm going to name this into ground. Now, I'm going to make a new cube or you have your generator model, etc. I'm not going to make the generator model. I'm just going to make a simple cube or not cube or rectangle because generator is supposed to be a rectangle thingy. Just for example that this is your um your generator model thingy and and you have a button the one f the button for turning it off or on. Just going to just going to put the button right here. As you can see right there, I'm going to name this Gen and this one is a Gen to, for generator. I'm going to put this Gen button into the generator. Alright. Now what you're going to do is uh, game object creep NT and then this one should be the switch of the generator. This one, the gen one, is just basically for some decoration, and this one is for the actual, um, actual collider checker or for checking if anyone inside of that specific area. Or you can just use a request to that button, but I'm not gonna do that since it's easier this way. I'm going to move this and make this. Make sure this is is trigger is checked. All right, that's done. Also, I'm going to put a roof and some lights basically. Game object, 3D object, light, uh, point light. For example, you have a light system basically that you want to be gen uh, right, uh, that you want to be connected to the generator. I'm going to put mine like maybe four of these thing. Okay, there's four generator. Not four generator light. Alright now I'm going to make a new empty and going to name this lights. And just put all the light into lights and then put the light um into generator, not the switch not the switch one the full generator so now you have everything intact and when you move this generator everything move basically all right now we have lights and generator now what we are going to code first is the, tr the not the trigger the, the the generator gen the actual generator they're going to code so let me name this generator Right now, 
going to start from void um then void going to click public int fill fill left and then i need to make a public in in box um i'll do that later but i'm just going to be public static a public static bool inbox I also forgot to mention uh, whenever the, the people go near this box um, not box a uh, trigger it will just it will show how many few left in that box all right now I'm going to make this this um gen stat and put on gen and put gen stat on generator and then make sure the box color is on trigger and then just, just make this zero 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 and where did the roof go oh um yeah i think i <laughs> silly me it is the game object name to this name gen start yeah i accidentally did that on the roof not the actual thing um gen start at physics box collider and just make it to zero 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 and let's resize this to this big or any big or you want to all right now now we have the gen start I'm going to make a new C sharp script and name this inbox. Now I'm going to open inbox in mono develop. Now I'm going to, to make void on trigger on trigger enter collider other um generator dot inbox is equal to true and then void on trigger exit collider other and then I'm going to make this generator dot inbox is equal to false now void on gui if inbox is equal to true then you want to show joy box new rack i'm going to make let's just say zero zero one hundred two hundred and twenty five and fuel plus fuel left dot two string since an in is not a string then we have to put two string all right that will show the fuel left uh, and then I'll need to make a public static bool um, on status right now I'm going to make a new script I'm going to name this uh, in button I'm going to name this in button open in button in wonderful again or your default um, editing program in button now avoid on trigger enter again collider other uh, generator dot um, uh, no, on trigger enter and then we have to check uh, on status okay if generator dot on status is equal now you, you can just use this one so which mean if on status is true on generator then if then um, 
uh, what I've since we have to update this per second for per, per frame which so we have to do it on void on update so what to make public bull on but or on button uh, I'm going to make this void on trigger enter on but is equal to true and the other way around on trigger exit collider other on but is equal to false and then void void update not on uh, just say on update is yes, weird but if on but is equal to true then if generator dot um if generator dot on status is equal to true and then if um uh, input dot 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 to get key down key code dot e dot e um uh, i think the key code key code dot key code um key code dot e and then generator dot and status is equal to false uh why does it shows error because of this thing else uh not that else uh yeah that else if um generator dot if generator status is false then if input dot get key down key code dot e and then what you're gonna do is generator dot and status is true um i forgot i have to put two of this symbol and then that should do it for in button all right now inbox is pretty much everything uh i forgot that we have still have we still have um no we don't need in button anymore generator on status all right now um uh, void void um uh, okay sorry void on ui now uh if on but which is on button again and then if generator dot on status is equal to true and then gui dot box new rack screen no I'm not going to use the screen dot with thingy you can just play with it if you want to um this one is zero zero two hundred and thirty five so we're going to do on zero zero two hundred and thirty and then twenty five and then uh press e to stop um and then else do and then else um gui dot box new rack zero zero I'm going to copy the, the top one and then press e to start just like that and i forgot a a uh what the hell is that button the symbol called quote and it's not quote i don't know what's that symbol called i forgot you all right um all right i think this is everything void update on iphone button and then just if i'm just doing status all right